Taurus, welcome. It's your heart spread reading for January 2022. Love, romance, and relationship reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And here, what I'm looking at is you and the one that's on your mind. So the one on your mind, probably an Earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the Virgo Capricorn kind of stands out here. Um, this is the good worker card, the Eight of Pentacles. It's always to be very positive. This is someone who's busy living their life, uh, invested in their work. And I don't even think in like a compulsive way. It's just someone that's living their life and uh, doing good work. Oftentimes in this position, because this is, I want to see this as where they are in terms of love and relationship. Maybe they've even been doing the good work, uh, shadow work and stuff to grow and and uh, work and be in a union. Now, where you come in is the Page of Wands. And the Page of Wands energy in and around love relationship is you being pretty fired up. Uh, you're looking right into the reading. Um, your person here doesn't really look like someone particularly looking for a relationship. You may have been. Um, so, uh, also, you know, I see you as being a little bit younger. Uh, perhaps younger than the person you're uh, thinking of here. Perhaps in some way you put them up on, on a pedestal. Here, as I look at these together, now this is you just in general around love and relationship here i want to see how you're reacting really to your person now this energy to be honest with you this could be anything from meeting in a bar and being so turned on that you have sex in the bathroom a few minutes later after you first meet to just have sex on the first date to just having all kinds of desire maybe maybe you haven't even had sex but um, i see you as being really attracted to this person um, the overall energy, you got the Page of Cups. I think that's really your energy, overall energy. I do count this reading. So that's why I say, really, you're really looking for love here. Um, and if this person uh, really turns you on. I think you caught their eye first. Maybe maybe you uh, were the first one to say something or initiate the relationship. But this is their energy towards you now. One thing about a page of pentacles, let me say over here, if there's a cross watcher, it's very sincere energy. You know, it, again, this page of wands, who knows? But the page of pentacles, like now you've thought about it, and not only do they turn you on, you really have thought it through, and you're seriously considering them and wanting them in a relationship with this page of pentacles. That's not playing around. And your person's responding here with the, you know, so, uh, Knight of Swords energy. Look at this Knight of Swords here, just rushing in, right? In this golden Art Nouveau tarot deck here. Um, rushing right into you, right into the reading. It's almost like here you can see some like a cartoon. Uh, what the heck was the name of that totally sexist cartoon with Doobie Do, Do Right, Doobie Do Right or something? He's always like uh, sweeping his woman off the train tracks at the last minute. So it can be a little bit of that energy of somebody coming in, like sweeping you off your feet, that kind of energy. Um, I just see you with two two pages here. Uh, somehow you see yourself as lesser than them. You might feel that way, less substantial, that kind of thing, putting them up on a pedestal. Uh, somehow you see yourself as diminutive or something like that. Um, now it gets really interesting because here we have this is your advice from spirit for the relationship how to deal with best with the relationship and here's their advice from spirit for how best to deal look at the difference here guys a five of pentacles and ten of pentacles for them it's easy i mean they're just uh, spirit saying i love this it's like give them everything give towards everything what the hell you're in love with them and i mean everything you know <laughs> pentacles are real things you can wrap your knuckles on and the only thing i can see here is somehow you don't feel good enough it's corny and cliche but it's a lack mentality it clearly here against the ten of pentacles this is the advice from spirit i don't think a, a spirit's going to advise us to have a lack mentality or to feel that uh, but i think it could even be physical like 
It could be that this relationship, oh, I can't, I've lost the word. There's a word in uh, anthropology. But, uh, when you uh, attach yourself to this person, that's not the right word. You know, well, Venus and Scorpio to Cancer Moon, so it works for me, but I don't know about aquas. But uh, when you become a couple, you know, your uh, status will go up, you know. And I think this is what's on your mind here with this two of uh, swords. It's uh, uh, trying to think of, uh, I think too, uh, I want to clarify the two of swords, but I don't want to clarify the outcome, this eight of swords, it's, it's really tough. And also, you know, this whole reading is nothing but a uh, minor arcana in one court card, you know, well, the, in two court cards, if you count the nine of uh, cups, you know, so these are two people like rushing at each other, there's, they're, uh, I think things may have been tough for you just in general, Taurus, you know. Um, lately, you know, Uranus is there squaring Saturn. Wants to break up and change something. It's probably not what you want to do is change anything. Just in general. So I'm going to clarify your two of swords. Just the energy. I just don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do. And, you know, I certainly, I just don't see any problems over here. The only thing, the other, other thing I can think of, you know, other than this, you know, Knight of Cups, which is kind of you, I think initially you rushed in a lot of passion and emotion, um, and you fell hard, you fell fast, you fell for real. You're ready to get married, but this, be, be clear, you know, this page of Pentacles is like, I'm down, I want an exclusive relationship, I want to get married, I, I know you're the one. And even probably thought it through a good bit, you know. Uh, it's not anything like this, you know, page of, of wands energy, which would have been the attraction here. Um, and so maybe you just feel a little bit overwhelmed. My thought came that perhaps you feel like uh, this is a larger person than you somehow and that you will lose yourself in this relationship. It's a legitimate concern. You know, it can happen. Um well, I just can't understand why you wouldn't want to go for it. Now, look what we have here. Queen of Cups is clarifying this Two of Swords. And this is advice from Spirit now for the relationship as a whole. So this is about emotions here. You know, the Two of Swords is said to be, you know, hard over mind uh, conflict here is one of the problems with it. So it would definitely say that the solution is with the heart and you know, I was going to say, other. also, maybe you're just not interested. Maybe they're not romantic enough. Maybe they're coming at you. I mean, this Nine of Swords could be kind of cerebral. Um, and, you know, Taurus is sensual. Maybe what you're really looking... Maybe this is also what they're saying. Give everything here to the Cross Watcher if you're there. If you want to share this, Taurus, please. Um, everything is everything. Give your heart. Give your mind. Give your soul. Give your bank account. You know, go all in, you know, with your Taurus here. Um, so this is maybe about bringing love into it and, and emotions. And so, you know, to me, clearly, it's about also um, removing just the simple fact of dollar signs or wealth or material wealth uh, from the equation in your Two of Swords mind, you know, mind over heart. And really, what this is saying is for the good of the relationship, focus on how you feel. What, what you know, love. Do you love them or do you not love them? That's kind of the question, you know. Um, and I don't see any hesitation on their part in this at all. So we're going to clarify the Eight of Swords with three cards. Because that's you, just you absolutely are stuck in this. So we have the Five of Cups. Wow. And we have the Empress. And the final clarification is the Strength card. That's powerful. So this is all about you, I believe, here. It's all about you. There's something about you, some insecurity, some fear. Maybe you're feeling like you just, do I really want to... You know, you're the one that came in with this page pinnacle, so that's really wanting to give yourself and make a commitment. But, you know, I feel like somehow now that the person's coming back at you, I believe probably really hard. They might be saying, you know, I want to marry you. They might be saying, wow, I'm, yes, I feel the same way. And now it's like there's this cold feet here. And the answer is to get, go into your emotions. 
And with the Five of Cups, look, it is coming right over the Five of Pentacles. You know, this is the lack mentality, not feeling good enough and letting go of this, turning your back on that kind of energy. And maybe that's also, maybe that's why there's not emotions in it somehow. Maybe emotionally, you're just kind of holding back. That could kind of be the ultimate thing. You do have the Empress here. Nothing wrong with the Empress, but you could be so emotionally strong, holding back. And even strength. It is beautiful card to get here. If you were worried about losing yourself in this relationship, I'd say maybe, if anything, they should be worried. Frankly, I don't see either one of you having a worry. They come in very strong with their pentacles and their knight. And they really, they're doing the eight of pentacles. So you can't touch them. That's Saturn. You're doing the Lord's work when you do the eight of pentacles. So, you know, neither one of you. But maybe you're the one that needs to hear that you... you you are not this vulnerable little thing. Um, you know, this is, uh, you've got the Queen of Cups here, being emotional, but also being strong, being a queen, knowing your uh, worth. Now, you don't know your worth more than the Empress does, the most powerful woman in tarot, in the strength card. Look at the light here coming. My God, man. It's like it's all lit out. This is your outcome here, I would say. The Empress in, in the strength card. You know, um, this relationship is going to make you so much more powerful. And I'll blow your mind, even if you decide you don't want it. But I'm not saying you won't. I I think the problem, this is now in the past position in a three-card reading. So five of cups is past energy. Grief, maybe unfinished grief. Maybe with this, when you see the page of pentacles... A page of wands, I mean, they're looking into the reading and it's all that. That could kind of be wanting to get away from that. You know, and then someone comes in with this solid offer and really blows your socks off, knocks your socks off with it. And now suddenly you, you realize, like, can I really go forward if I'm still lost in this grief over the other one? You know, once kind of the sexual glow wears off and you re realize that all that's, you're, you're still there on the inside. You know, but uh, I think once you deal with that, you're really in this amazingly strong uh, position here, almost kind of exalted. It's like you come in putting them in a pe on a pedestal, and you yourself are put up on a pedestal. You know, maybe that comes just by simply finally kind of resolving this feeling of not being good enough, resolving the lack mentality. And this is, you realize, I mean, if anything is, you've got the empress, and you've got the strength card. And you've got the queen of cups. Now, if that doesn't say, I am worthy, I don't know what does. So, thank you, guys. I hope this is helpful. Do give me a like. That helps a lot with the AI and try to get this out more. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Love it if you can leave a comment, particularly on any astrology you might be associating with uh, any of this. I know the Uranus square is exact again for the third time, so that's big lately. The energy's been tough, so might be a lot of pressure to make changes and stuff. Um, but you're certainly you're not going to be weakened by any of it. Like, I get it with this relationship. You know, take it, don't take it. Go, don't go. You're going to end up being good. Thank you, guys.